I really want to get down in the basement and do some decluttering and organizing. So in days like today, I would say my crock pot is my best friend because I know I'm not going to have tons of energy after decluttering. So if I can get supper in the crock pot before I'm too tired, that is winner, winner, chicken dinner. And guess what we're having? Chicken. <laughs> Okay, true confession here. I did not do a menu plan this week. So when I don't have a menu plan, what I do is I buy the meats we commonly eat. So I had this chicken breast and I thought, what am I going to do with it? I looked through one of my cookbooks to find something and I stumbled upon chicken parmesan. And then I thought of a chicken parmesan casserole I used to make. I looked that up on Pinterest and I was like, nah, I don't really want to make that. And then I put that in the search bar because I'm looking for something where I already have the ingredients in the house. So I then saw chicken parmesan soup and I looked that up and the only thing I was really missing that I would miss was heavy cream. And I thought, okay, I could run to a store nearby and just grab myself some heavy cream. As a matter of fact, I even had a block of Parmesan in the refrigerator that I wanted to use up. So that worked out perfectly. So what I'm doing is I had chicken breasts. It called for three chicken breasts. And one thing I hate about a recipe is it? I would prefer you tell me the weight because you can get thin chicken breasts, you can get fat chicken breasts, but then I realized, you know what? It's really the broth and the seasoning in the broth I've got to get right. If this is the amount of chicken that's good for my family, I'm just going to use it. And honestly, we have leftovers. I could have gone lighter on it, but it worked out well. And I did end up really loving this recipe. So I am glad to share it with you. I definitely made adjustments. So I'll put the link to the recipe in my description box, as well as in the first comment. If I forget it, somebody please remind me in the comments and then I'll add it. I use liners in my crock pot. If you don't use liners, then I would suggest giving it a quick spray with cooking oil so that things, I don't know, I think it just makes it easier to clean. Now, funny story is the high, medium, and low, or high, low, and warm have been mostly scraped off of my crock pot from me scrubbing it. <laughs> oh my goodness. But the funny thing is, it goes high, then warm than low or something like that. My husband said he always has to look it up. <laughs> he looks our crock pot up on Google to see and he thinks we need a new crock pot and we really might. I don't know. It feels like if I'm putting a lot in there, it takes forever for it to start getting bubbly. So tell me if that is true about your crock pot as well and maybe then I'll know there's really nothing wrong with my crock pot except I'm impatient. So I'm just putting these chicken breasts in and then I will put the things in for most of the broth and then you cook it on high for six to eight hours, which I may, I mean, I was like, okay, I sliced them thin. It's not going to take six hours for these to cook. I really wasn't that worried about it, but it, oh, actually it says low for six to eight hours and high for three to four hours. Well, no wonder mine cooked fine. Then I'm adding two cans of crushed tomatoes because it called for 28 ounces. Mine were actually diced, not crushed. I wasn't worried about that. Then it said one can of tomato sauce, 15 ounces, and it means the tomato sauce that hasn't been seasoned yet. Well, I didn't have that in the house, but I did have this Hunt's marinara sauce. So I thought, okay, it just means there's more flavor to mine. So I'm not that worried about it. That says 15 ounces as well, so I'm just measuring it. So basically just under two cups. Then it also called for four cups of chicken broth. You know, I love the Nature's Promise organic chicken broth. One, because it's inexpensive, but it just really has a great flavor. So I try to always have chicken broth on hand. My exception to the Nature's Promise is beef broth because their beef broth has whey in it. And Rachel is gluten-free, so I do not get Nature's Promise beef broth. If you are gluten-free, you really want to be careful of beef broth. Then it said to do a tablespoon of minced garlic. I was running out of garlic, so I just put all the garlic in there. A teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and I use the Nature's Promise organic Italian seasoning. I can't remember why. 
It might be because it doesn't have rosemary or something because that gives Rachel migraines. And then a teaspoon of salt and then a teaspoon of pepper. Now I'm usually a little bit shy about pepper, but this time I put in the whole teaspoon and it really did not make it peppery. Sometimes I feel like in recipes they ask for too much pepper and makes it peppery. Now that's all you need to add for now and then you're gonna cover it and you're gonna cook it on high for three to four hours or on low for six to eight hours. I chose on high because it's already after lunch, so I know I'm gonna need that. And then it also called for one cup of Parmesan cheese freshly shaven. So I think if you don't have Parmesan that is in a block, yes, you could definitely use the already grated. So I'm just gonna grate away. I used to have a really nice Pampered Chef cheese grater, but it has broken years ago. So we're just gonna kick it old school. But if you put the grater into the bowl, it definitely helps because you're measuring as you grate. You're not gonna be adding the Parmesan cheese until 30 minutes before you plan to eat. So I'm just gonna cover it with some saran wrap and put it in the fridge and then it will be all ready for me. So I am doing every single thing I possibly can. In fact, Robin ended up being the one to go get the heavy cream for me. So I didn't even have to do that, which was a huge blessing. He is a huge blessing. I'm gonna talk over my furnace. That's a thumbnail. Okay. This chub is not making me too happy lately. I don't know how far I'm gonna go, but I do know for sure I want to look through the spring summer and see, make sure everything in here is stuff that I intentionally want. You can see it's kind of bulging, bulging. And I will tell you what, the minute that Valentine's Day is over, you're gonna see spring stuff happening. Because I cannot wait. I have cut my own head off. That's better. This, I love it, I'm keeping it. This will be summer. I feel like I saw something at Dollar General that was lemon that I wanted to keep, or that I wanted to get. Okay, that's lemon. Keep that. What is this? My, oh, my white shower curtain. Actually, I want to do this right away. Take down the fall shower curtain for once and for certain. Okay, now in here I have my shells, which I definitely always use, usually in the bathroom. So this stuff does seem to be things I want. This, it's kind of getting old and discolored. I will get rid of this. This. These are all like, let me show you. These are all like <laughs> that. We actually had used it for a birthday party of Ava's and I kept it thinking maybe I would use it. And there are fairy lights if I ever had the bandwidth to untangle it, but I'm just gonna declutter it. And then this little flower we're gonna declutter. I don't even know why this lad log was in here. One of you mentioned like my kitchen, you know, I'm just taking great pains to get everything right. And then down here is like, it's so true. I am a macro organizer. These, I absolutely love these. If you want pillow covers, like you get yourself some throw pillows and then you change out the covers, you will save so much money on Amazon, just measure the pillow because there are different sizes. This, I always have to be careful not to ruin. The girls got me this, definitely keeping this. I love the smell of this. It is Yankee Candle Sicilian Lemon. But as you can see, there's not much left to it. Oh, thank you, thank you, Furnace. I am gonna get rid of this. I have found if I burn candles down too much, one time I did have one explode the glass so I that made me nervous all right we're keeping the lemon stuff we're keeping the floral because lemon's great for summer I have my little green bunny I'm gonna keep that this is a door hanger I don't know why I said hanger so yeah more pillow covers more pillow covers I can sing everything 
these are lights. See? Shouldn't have kept the battery in it, but I did, alas. These are cute little flowers because I feel like with this stuff it goes. I love these little animals. You can get these at Michael's. Oh my goodness, they have so many right now and they've got big ones. I would like to add maybe one animal <laughs> every year. I'm gonna be that little old lady that doesn't really know they're not real someday. I don't think this was supposed to be upside down. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Love. Oh, her little nose is missing. Where's her nose? All right. Oh, 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 I found it. Here we go. I'm going to have to glue that. Yeah, her nose needs to be glued. Where's that Gladlock bag? I'm going to put her in here so that we don't lose her nose. I see something in here I am going to get rid of. this I use this usually Valentine's Day but you know the thing about this like faux fur stuff it's really hard to keep it nice like you'd have to comb it which I have done I just kind of feel over it this is also a shower curtain which I do enjoy that could be spring if I feel like changing my shower curtain again so this is going to be donated. I do like these flowers. So I will keep, I don't know. They're looking a little crushed. I think I'll treat myself to some new flowers this year. So I'm gonna get rid of these. If I need flowers, I'll treat myself to new ones. And then this. This goes to, <laughs> Uh, a long keeper like what I have under the bed but obviously I'm not using the dividers I'm gonna get rid of the dividers because I feel like it's been without the dividers for a couple of years now bunny is staying and then this they the year after I bought this uh, on Amazon it was out of stock and I've never noticed it come back in I love this curtain so much it's lined, it's soft. Again, if you are looking for just a balance, say in your kitchen, like I do, I just change out that one balance. Amazon, they're so, yeah, I'm just dumping. They are so economically reasonable. All right, this is labeled, it says spring, summer. So let's put the stuff back in that we're keeping. We're gonna keep this. I'm a little on the fence, oops. I don't need this piece of ribbon. I'm a little on the fence with these faux candles, but I feel like I should just keep them until I decorate, and then I'll make a final decision. Mrs. Rabbit needs a husband and maybe a nose. I think I had a husband for her, and I think something happened to the poor man. All right, this was fun. That was quick. Little Chicky goes back in. So probably in two weeks, I'll be decorating my house for spring. I do, and, and my kids, and I've said this before, my daughters really do love us changing some things out, keeps things fresh. It's just fun. It's one of the reasons why I paint, I do my rooms neutral colors, like the walls and the furniture, so that I can have these pops of color and when they wear out, you know, you can get rid of them. But I've actually had these for years now. I feel like it wasn't long at all into my YouTube journey that I got this stuff. So I do really enjoy using it. Oh, these pillows too. These are actually fall pillows. Rachel was using them in her bedroom and she got new ones, so she gave it back. I just feel like that's pretty neat. My fall bin is very small. Not very small, but it, it's pretty small. So, 
what I might do, what I'm going to do, because you could actually use mustard. Uh, no, I'm not going to use mustard in spring, am I? Well, I do have bags up here. I guess I'll put these in there. I'm going to see. I will put. I have these plugins from Bath and Body Works that Yvonne buys me. One is definitely spring. One is definitely fall. And this one could be either. So I'm going to put these in my spring box as well. One thing my camera really struggles with is if you go close up and then far away, it can't always make the adjustment. And I, sometimes I forget to make sure I'm still in focus. So I apologize. Definitely happened in my last video. So this isn't bad at all. I'm very happy with this. Where did I put the cover? It could maybe even at some point go in a smaller box. And then I would like to remind myself to go ahead and put up a shelf. Another shelf. Because I have this shelf that I've never used. It's even kind of dirty. So that's a double shelf. So I'm going to put it in the box to remind me to have my husband put them on a wall somewhere that maybe some of this decor will go up on a wall. All right, lay this side out. Then in here, this is my fall box. Oh, my little bunny didn't get put in. There's a spot for a little bunny right here. I actually, wait, this is a fall plug-in. See? So I will put that in the fall box. And then I do see I could put this pillow in here maybe. Yes, I think I can. No, nope, it's opening. Not worth it. All right. I will say, if you get really cheap boxes somewhere, which was what this was, sometimes they don't latch as well as going to like Lowe's or even Walmart. All right, so we got spring, summer, and fall. And then these, I don't want to get rid of these. But did I have room? I probably have room in the spring box. Because I would use them for spring. Oh, yeah, I do. I'm just going to get this down 10 times so that I can say I did strength training today. But I like to have like multiple levels when I'm styling, say, my hutch, my sideboard. already has a spring pillow in it. They're going to be sad. I'll, I'll actually be sad too in a way, but happy in a way. Sad content wise. But to be honest, I feel like I'm just going to keep peeling the onion until I barely have anything. Would that be happy? So this stuff is storm related, even though this kind of has a design to it. I really only use it for storms. I only bought it because it was inexpensive. One time we were having a storm. All right, these are fairy lights, and I believe one of my daughters wants them. So 
gonna bring those up to, oh, she probably want these more. Yeah, so I'm gonna bring these to her. But recently when I was doing maybe the tool declutter, I was seeing these little rain slicker ponchos and then this needs to come in here. And then these hopefully fit in here. Let's take out the rain slickers. So many of them. it really is a matter of what goes in first whether it's all going to fit and the lid is going to shut <laughs> all right i think i got it so this is storm stuff and there's no labels so we're going to take care of that right now Oops. and then i like to buy pantry labels just on amazon because they're easy to change out and they're very inexpensive. I'm not fancy when it comes to labels. I just need everyone to know what goes in here. And I prefer using Sharpies, white or silver, mostly white, but I couldn't find one over chalk because chalk gets messed up. See, this one is chalk. So you see how that's kind of messed up. And then this is the Sharpie. I just like that way better. There, that's better. Now we're gonna deal with this mess. And it used to be my son's, so these are his initials. But it's gonna say, I thought, well, it kinda of works for craft. <laughs> no, we're gonna get a new label. We're gonna go through this and be brutal. All right. First, let me say, if I can afford to be generous, when I have a kid that wants to do crafts, I am definitely generous. And I haven't even bought all of this. This was, uh, a bath bomb kit it just wasn't that good are we gonna keep the we're gonna definitely gonna keep the glue gun I'm definitely gonna keep the color pencils these are some stickers a church ministry thing somebody gave us we don't need those these was were from when I was going through a journaling phase I'm just gonna delay that uh, decision for two minutes here more colored pencils. I need some large glad locks. I'll be right back. A good freezer bag is the real key to organization. And that's what we're gonna do with colored pencils. That is, if anything, people use colored pencils. They even organize them to color for a lot of them. Or at one time. The markers are prob I know they're old, so they're probably dry. I should say that about the dual brush. I mean, this was years ago. The We have this Artist Loft wash. It's also very old. These shells I might end up using. Maybe I should put this with my spring summer stuff. And then if I don't use it for spring summer, I'm getting rid of it. So, all of the markers I'm getting rid of. This is really old paint. The colors are all mixed up. <clears throat> oh, these are like little buffers for um, like cabinets and stuff. So I'm gonna bring those upstairs. This I just used in a pinch. It was, um, it's really for making jewelry, which we don't do. I feel like in a pinch, if you have the colored pencils, I mean, I if my daughter had a project, I would go ahead and get her some new markers. But I don't think our markers are good enough. This actually can go through our printer. It is copy paper. Oh, man, 
I had it from when, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna donate this to my church. I had it from when we used to do lap books, but we're all too old for lap books now. But this is gonna go to my church. I know right where it goes. So I don't have to make a mess. These are acrylics. All right, those of you who are artistic, how long would you keep acrylic paint? Would you keep them till you used them? Oh, they're still, they're not dry, so I guess I'll keep them. And I'll keep them. These brushes, oh wow, I have a lot of brushes. I'll keep the ones that are good, and the ones that I've had since they were like children, children, I'll get rid of. Like, you know, the ones you get in the watercolor packets, kind of ruined. These beads, I'm going to um, donate those. Donate. Mod Podge. Man, we've had this for so many years. Oh, it's not even open. It has never been opened. I'm gonna donate it. It's never been opened. Again, watercolor that's all messed up. Glue from when they used to make um, sand. Uh, glue was from when they used to make uh, slime. That was a long time ago. More Mod Podge. Boy. I mean, I just don't think anyone's going to use this. So I'm going to get rid of it. A second glue gun. Oh, wow, I have three glue guns. I'm going to keep the glue guns because when we use them, we need more than, we always need a group of them because we're doing something together. So I'm taking out all of the markers. I have glue sticks in here, which I think, oh, my husband's crochet hook. Did you know my husband knows how to crochet? He is a renaissance man. All right, <clears throat> what's this? More sand, getting rid of that. These that I got and didn't end up using on my tree, I'm gonna donate those to my church as well. And they're always using those kind of stickers. Glue sticks. This one's never been open. I will donate that to my church. In fact, I'm going to keep, all right, I will keep these four and the rest are going to my church. Beads, which we don't use. <clears throat> uh, I guess I'll keep the loose ones. of these hole punches. Jace. This was in the DVD. I sure got put back. Oh. Percy Jackson and Lady Keith. Yep. Uh, DVDs are right there. Look what I found. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, that goes upstairs. Yep. I have a continue to go those. And then craft wire, we'll keep the craft wire. I'm keeping all of the um, acrylic paint, color pencils, the paint brushes, my glue guns, and spare glue sticks. And then I'm keeping the loose glue sticks, those types of glue sticks, and then my crafting wire. If you had, could have seen this, and some of you did, a couple of declutters go, I used to have tons of craft supplies. And now this is all that I have. So that is really good. Also, I have all this tissue paper for like, oh, this is my driftwood again. Okay, we're gonna put the driftwood in here. 
I should put it with my spring and summer stuff, but I'm going to put it here. I have all of this tissue paper for like when we wrap presents, but honestly, we rarely ever use it, but I'm going to keep it for now. Maybe I'll put that in here too. That's a good idea. Can put the lid back on. And then this is trash. Where did my pen go? This. I'm gonna write craft, crafts, and I'm also gonna write tissue paper so that people will know, you know, when they're looking to wrap a present if they got a gift bag that this is where the tissue paper is. And then I'll put it here. I also notice this is where my DVDs are. These are ones that people don't want to get rid of. I'll actually show you. If you're curious what kind of movies we actually love because that's what you would keep right the ones you really really love there they are and then we have this one the visual bible acts as well as matthew i noticed it had no label so dvds I want to go through this real quick and pull out anything I don't feel I can donate. This is a great donation box. Actually, even better. I was going to get rid of this box anyway, so it makes a good, good, a good, good will box, a good donation box for the things that I feel like can be donated. Because not everything here can be donated. I don't feel like the random flowers can be donated. And obviously, the pieces to my storage that I'm getting rid of can't be donated. So that stuff's going in the trash. I have this whole bag of trash and this box for donation. And I feel really good about that. And then these things will be donated to my church and the kids will really enjoy getting to use those during Sunday school time. I feel like I have reclaimed this shelf in a big way. It feels so good. And honestly, could we get rid of some games? Absolutely. But right now I'm the only one who thinks so. So we're just gonna be patient and wait and eventually people will realize that it's time to get rid of some of those. I finished decluttering, took a shower, got into my pajamas, and I am in my yellow light energy part of the day. I quickly realized I needed a YouTube video to get me through. So the headphones are in, I'm watching a video to help me stay motivated. The recipe says to just take two forks and pull apart the meat, but I honestly prefer to cut it in bite-sized chunks where it is a soup. It's just the way that I prefer to eat it. So I am getting all of this cut with my crazy good knifing skills. Ha ha ha, said no one ever. So this took forever. I'm just like cutting away, cutting away, cutting away. This is the first time I have ever made this recipe. So you guys are kind of my guinea pigs, but it turned out really well. It was very, very tasty. I'm not going to make you sit through all of this cutting so let's skip to where i am finished with the cutting at least and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients Thirty minutes before you're going to serve this, you add a full cup of heavy cream. Of course, whipping cream would work too. It says to add rotini pasta, eight ounces. Okay, this cooked. And I don't do this. What I did was I cooked it on the side and I kept it out because I know we're going to be using this as leftovers too. And you know how pasta soaks up every bit of juice. So I didn't want that. So I'm cooking it on the side and people add it to their own soup. And then this is one cup of that shredded Parmesan cheese that you saw me shred before. And then I'm giving it a nice stir and it's going to get all melted and yummy. 
Then I noticed I had a little bit of cream and I should have left well enough alone because I completely spattered my shirt. Play that still. Exactly. You know I will and I'll have some kind of a noise on it. <laughs> Oh my word. Oh, I'm just glad I got that on film. All right, I'm gonna go change my shirt. We don't do this because we're good at it, people. But the soup came out lovely. It also called for breadcrumbs I didn't use, a tablespoon of butter, which I didn't use, and a half cup of mozzarella, which I also didn't use. If this motivated you, hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and join our little family. Remember, as always, God loves you, and I love you too. And I can't wait to see you next time, which I hope is tomorrow.